Well, another day of interrupted play, a little bit of rain sort of causing us a bit of havoc, but uh, you seem to keep it together. Yeah, I did for a little bit, which was nice. No, it's, um, yeah, it's always a bit of a... Um bit of a nuisance but yeah we we're uh, good enough to keep it on track most of the time when we got out there and um, stick to our plans and it paid off at the end of the day. It was a really tough start to the day it, it looked like they were going to bat all the way through. Yeah it was I think we came out and we didn't quite execute the way we wanted to we didn't bowl our plans quite right so we we probably leaked a little bit more runs than we would have liked at the start there but I think after lunch I think that showed then that the spells and the partnerships that we put that put together from both ends that um, we built the pressure and and uh, yeah we got the return probably um, in, in the afternoon after that. You'd be pretty happy with a, with a little five for there? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, it's always nice to putting in that hard work and building the pressure and, that, and the stuff that um, we always talk about that we'll, uh, we'll get the rewards at the end of the day to get the rewards. But I think, um, I think it was just the pressure that we built from both ends and all the bowlers um, after lunch, especially. There was a lot of talk before this test started that the Sri Lankans were going to be an easy bait and they are now proving that they're anything but. Yeah, and that's right. I think that's, that's the thing. There's a lot of talk about it, but... We knew, and uh, that, that the quality of players that they've got throughout their side, that it's, it's, it wasn't going to be easy at all. And I think it, it showed. You look at their lineup, and they're, they're, they're obviously a lot of batting depth, but um, it probably wasn't the blokes that we thought would stand out. But uh, Dilshan at the top there did well, and Angelo Matthews, who we know is improving a lot, especially the last 18 months. So there's, uh, they did well. But um, yeah, we, we just got to keep doing what we do. And there is going to be tough days like that. All Test matches, there's always a partnership somewhere along there. And yeah, obviously there's a big one today that um, we, we couldn't quite break until later on. Just on a personal note, at the end of Adelaide, you know, we, you look wrecked, absolutely wrecked on that last day. You're okay now, and you know, do, <laughs> do you need a good feed of meat? No, nah, I'm feeling good, feeling good. Yeah, it was disappointing to miss that last test, but um, yeah, it was the right thing for the team and and myself. It, it could have been a lot different if I had tried playing and got injured. I definitely wouldn't have been here. So it's um, yeah, feeling good. Uh, the body, the body, obviously, yeah, recovered well in the in the missing that uh, match and getting a nice little week off, which is always good. But uh, yeah, just looking forward to the rest of this series and. And obviously the rest of this match. Yeah, the uh, the other obvious question is the injury to Ben Hilfenhaus. Can you tell us anything? Uh, we don't know much at the moment. Obviously, yeah, I haven't really spent much time in the in the sheds today. But at the moment, yeah, he's got a little side complaint. But um, yeah, I guess we'll know more in the next um, the next couple of days. But yeah, I haven't even got a chance to talk to him yet. So we'll, we'll see how he goes. Right, well done on the Fifa. It's good to have you back. No worries. Thank you very much.